Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how The Last Jedi is going to be tying in to The Mandalorian Season 3. That's right now on Star Wars Coffee. So The Mandalorian Season 3 is going to be debuting in March of 2023. If you guys remember last year, early on in 2022, there were images of red helmets being leaked in the prop studio for The Mandalorian Season 3, specifically looking like Praetorian Guards that we saw in The Last Jedi. MakingStarWars.net was the first one to report those images, and they were taken in Long Beach, California, where scenes were being shot featuring Din Djarin facing off against Praetorian Guards as part of their design and the weapons they were using aligned with the ones seen in Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Making Star Wars, Jason Ward has now followed up with an image of what these designs look like in the third season, of what we can expect these Praetorian Guards to actually look like, not just the helmets, but more of a full body look. Though not stated, this image was drawn by Making Star Wars or an affiliate that has seen these final designs. Now, Jason has been very reliable in the past over at MakingStarWars.net in terms of his leaks, so this is very likely close to the on-screen accurate one that we're going to be seeing debut in The Mandalorian Season 3. So we can check this image out. It is obviously MakingStarWars.net. These Praetorian guards were seen in The Last Jedi were human warriors that served as personal guards for Supreme Leader Snoke. So, with this being the case, if you guys remember in The Mandalorian Season 2, we saw what looks to be a Snoke clone in a back to tank over at that supposedly abandoned Empire facility that Grief Karga, Din, and Gina Carano's character went into and ended up blowing up. So we will see what is going to be going on with this. And this may lead to the idea that there will be some kind of Snoke appearance in this season. That of course not confirmed, just seems to be a little bit more likely given the fact that we're seeing Praetorian Guards. We did get a look at one of those failed cloning experiments on Navarro, which bared a resemblance to Snoke and Palpatine as we are understanding more and more of how Disney is going to be flushing out all of the logistics and the plot holes of the sequel trilogy, likely through some of these Disney Plus series. So that's going to be interesting to find out. Seeing these Praetorian Guards on screen, seeing them with Din Djarin, that's going to be something very um, probably beneficial to the sequel trilogy as a whole, especially if it's given the great context we know it can be given by John Favreau and Dave Filoni. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, may God bless you, and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.